What's up everyone, my name is Sal Sincata and today we're gonna to talk about creating outdoor dramatic portraits with one light. All right, so something I love to do for my wedding clients, senior clients, family clients is create dramatic portraits. It's my signature style, it's what we're known for. And this is a typical setup for us. We've got a Profoto B10 Plus uh, and we are using the Telezoom. Uh, this bad boy will throw an extra stop and a half, two stops of light uh, at your subject. So we are gonna get a lot of light here. And as you can even see, uh, this video camera is showing you what it has to do to expose for my face. It's blowing out the background. That's typically what happens in a scene like this. But I don't want to Photoshop in a fake sky. I don't want to blow out the sky. I want that sky to be a nice dark blue. And as you will see, uh, we've got some big puffy clouds behind me. I want those in the shot, no Photoshop. And that's the goal. And so today, that's what we're going to do just using these two tools. Let's get to it. All right, so gear check once again. Uh, we have got our Profoto Trigger, Canon EOS R, uh, 72, RF 7200 lens, Profoto B10 Plus, and the Telezoom to give us that extra stop and a half, two stops of light. That's all we got with us here today, and we are gonna do something epic with it. All right, so step one, we've gotta take a test shot with no light. Now I know what happens. As photographers, you roll up on a scene like this, you get super excited, you're like, let's get the flash, slam the flash in there, get excited, uh, and, and then lights all over the place, right? We can't do that, right? So slow down, deep breaths. Uh, first shot I want you to do, here's how I want you to think about this. Your camera is going to expose for the sky, okay? No flash, doesn't matter. Your subject's gonna go dark silhouette. Camera's going to expose for the sky, and that is our first step. So take your camera out, and you wanna take a picture of that hill, okay? So that those sky, the sky looks dark blue, no subject in it, uh, and we've got the clouds looking nice and white. Everything else is going to look dark, and that's where the flash comes in, and we'll talk about that next. All right, so step two, once you have the scene looking the way you want on camera, now is when you're gonna take your, your trigger, put it on your camera, and we're gonna add flash. In step two, we are exposing for your subject, okay? Because the scene, the camera, has already exposed for the sky. You've underexposed. You can do it in manual mode or aperture priority. Doesn't matter, uh, however you get there. But now this, okay, is what we're gonna use to expose our subject. Okay, so now our subject's exposed, we are ready to rock and roll. Okay, so step three, as always, we're creatives. Season to taste, right? So how much light you have, how dark you want the scene, that's up to you. If you wanna make it look <laughs> like damn near nighttime, that's up to you, right? So find that balance, season to taste. How dark do you want the sky? How illuminated do you want your subject? That is up to you. That's the experimentation. That's the fun of it all. Step four, add action. What are they doing up there, right? So we've got to have them doing something. In this case, I've got a dancer. So we're going to make her jump. That's our action. If it's a wedding, throw the veil, throw the dress, okay? If it's a, a maternity shoot, make sure that dress has got motion. There needs to be some action because remember, these are dramatic portraits. And finally, step five, perfect the details. This is where I see photographers miss all the time. They get to the scene, they get excited, they just start taking pictures, slamming light in there, and next thing you know, you've got this horrible shadow pattern on their face. Next thing you know, the fabric wasn't laying right. The next thing you know, the hands look all sorts of weird and awkward. So once you get dialed in and feel comfortable, zoom into the back of that camera and start looking for what's wrong. You've got to ask yourself what's wrong in the shot. You've got to perfect the details. Once you do that, you follow those five steps, you are off to the races, and you are gonna start making some epic, dramatic images for your clients. All right, everybody, that is a wrap here. Hopefully, we have shown you how easy it is to create dramatic portraits with just one light. The technique is foolproof. Get out there, practice it, try it. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. There's more of these videos coming. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Sound off in the comments which, favorite, uh, which image was your favorite. We got plenty of them to choose from.